Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Farm Foods. Come and have a look at what I've got. Having a little walk around Farm Foods, as you do, and I came across these. Um, new Bell's Three Scotch Pies, made in Scotland. And this one as well. New Bell's Three Chilli Scotch Pies. One chilli rating, made in Scotland. Um, look at that serving suggestion. These were £2.50 a pack. So if my maths are correct, it works out at uh, just over 83 pence a pie. So let's have a look at the packaging. These aren't the first Scotch pies I've done on the channel. I have done pies from... Aldi, Fraser's, I think they were, did them ooh, about a year ago now. And I've done Greg's Scotch Pies as well. And I enjoyed them ones. They were the better, to, the better out of the two. So let's try these uh, Bell's Scotch Pies. Oh, I do love Scotch Pies. We'll go, with the, we'll go with this one first. There's the front. Let's go round the back. Um, where's the, uh, we'll get that in first, that's what I always do. Some nutritional information per 100 grams. Have a look at that. There's a GB sticker there, look, it's a three pack. And they are all the ingredients, if I can get them on for you. Allergens we've got in there are wheat, milk, soya, scotch pie filling 52%, water, beef 29%. Rusk wheat flour. Hmm. Yeah, where's the... Um, I'll, I'll have a look at the ingredients a bit more, but... Yeah. I thought you get mutton in a Scotch pie. I don't see any mutton in there. I'll have a look. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I might be right. <laughs> There's a barcode on there. Um, uh, there are the cooking instructions. Oven cooked from frozen. The following guidelines only. Obviously, do it do it to your um, oven size. Pre oven, two hundred and twenty degrees. Fan two hundred. Gas mark seven. Place pie on a baking tray. And cook in the centre of the oven for thirty to thirty five minutes. Ah, there we are. So let's get these open. A little bit more spiel before I jump the gun. Produced by Bell's Food Group. Scotland. So these are going to be exactly the same. I would say, apart from, you've got the chilli in there, haven't you? Yeah, milk, soy allergens, wheat, 52%. Scotch pie filling, water, beef, 29%. Right. So, uh, yeah, let's get these open. So I've just been on doing a bit of research, as you do, and yeah, it's traditionally mutton, um, but it's just things that times have changed. They do beef as well and lamb. Um, and it's um, a hot water crust pastry. I did remember that from last time. It was, it was a, well, I'll get into these. I've got my cup of tea there, going cold. I forgot about that. I'll get into these uh, and I will, well, well, I'll get it out and show you. Right, have we got a tab system? I'll get the, um, I'm going to have one of each to try them. No tab system, but never mind, doesn't matter. Get these open. So it says on there as well, puff pastry, but that is, yeah, that is very similar to this. There's nothing there, is there? Look at that. I mean, obviously, I know that there it is on the box and that's what it is. And it's not cooked, obviously. Yeah. Oh, I do like a scotch pie. I think the other ones I did had mutton in. I think it was like about 5% mutton, but these have just got beef, 52%. So that is... Um, that one. Let's, let's do this one. Let's get it in this one. Well, that came, came off a bit easier there. Um, so there's your chilli one. I'll have a look, see what chilies there are in it now. So I was just looking at the ingredients. It says chilli powder um, and chilli flakes. Um, but I know on there it's giving you the impression there's like chopped bird's eye chilies in there, doesn't there? But uh, we'll get it open. We'll have a look. And they're not suitable for microwave cooking. 
Um, and a little bit more spiel about them there, about the meat as well, which I did miss before. I always I'd like to check. Um, it says produced in Scotland using beef from UK and EU approved suppliers. So they're going, they're going in the new, uh, I've got a new cooker um, and they're going in there. So I'll put that one on there and the chilli one on the right hand side. Uh, so that is how they go. So I'll take you over to the new, my new, uh, I have done an unboxing video of this. Um, and I did some chips as well. The first sort of uh, review I did, I, I cooked some homemade chips. So it goes in the bottom on this one. Um, on that baking sort of tray and um, it says try and square them up in the center oh sorry try and let's try and square them up in the center of the oven so shut that up um so we want uh let's have a look we want what we want bake we want to bake these um, and we want them on for 200 degrees and that's why they call me mr baron hey so I'll go for 25 minutes to start with. It says 30 to 35, but because this is a... Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So it does a preheat. It does a preheating first. Right, I should have took these out, really, shouldn't I? No. Yeah, I'll take them out. Because you, you preheat it first, and then it beeps. And then when it beeps, the food is ready to go in. So we'll, st we'll start again. So... When when this preheating malarkey goes and beeps, we'll not put them in. Right, the beep's gone off. It's starting to cook, so let's get this in. Maybe I should have put the tray in as well, the baking tray, and put the pies in. I've put some parchment paper down um, on the top, uh, underneath, just to catch any... If this pie does spew its guts out, it'll it'll go onto the parchment paper rather than the, the baking tray. It saves me a bit of cleaning. Ah, oh, anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, maybe consider subscribing to the channel, you're a bit closer, aren't right? you? I'll, I'll push you away, away. Um, yeah, let me know if you've had these before, uh, new, do like new stuff. Right, I'll bring you back um, periodically. My new hobby this, watching food cook. I heard a beep, ooh, we've got a squirter. I'm glad we put the old parchment paper on underneath. I don't think anything's come out. They're just bubbling away, look. I'm going to get them out now. I'm going to cut them in half. If I can. I'll tell you what, they're, they're no soggy bottoms. No, they're all nice and crisp. Look at that. Oh, look how juicy that is. That is looking good. Oof, hot. So there's the pie. I was I was worried about the bottom. I'll show you the bottom. Maybe, yeah, it's it's all right. It's not soggy at all, neither. Nice and um, crisp on top. I'll cut this one in half. Good. That one there, when it focus, focuses, that one's the chilli one. I can't see any chilli flakes in there. Let's see if I get any on this side. Oh yeah, you can just see the specks. You can just see the specks at the top there on the left look. Oh, and you can see the chilli seeds there as well. And chilli seeds, aren't they? The hottest part of the chilli as well. I always get that question. The chilli seeds are the hottest. They're not the hottest part of the chilli. Um, right, so we need to get into them, don't we? And that's what we're going to do right now. The only bit of slippage juice, spillage juice I got there, look. That was the only blob there. So I don't think I really needed that, but never know. Guaranteed, if I didn't put it on, it would have gone everywhere. That's called sod's law. I'm going to try the chilli one first. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to chop it again because I've got a feeling that. Oh, they are juicy. God, they're so juicy. Oh, 
Oh, I can't wait for this. I wish they had mutton in though, but never mind. And I've salvaged my jacket as well. Put it through the tumble dryer. And when I got it out, it was, it was, I had to stretch it. <laughs> it's, it's gone back to normal now, which is good. Right, let's get into that. They're all good. They're good. That was hot. I had to edit a little bit of me trying to eat it there. That's the chilli one. It's it is fatty. It's 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 greasy, and and that's what you want. And it has got a bit of heat. It's not a lot, as Paul Daniels will say. Not a lot, <laughs> but there is a little bit there in the background. There is a little bit there, um, not overpowering by any stretch. Just it's just a little bit of heat in the background. I think it's not too bad. They are well seasoned, like I say. They are very juicy. Look at that. That's a, that's what you want, isn't it? The pastry is a bit of a weird one with these, with it being hot water pastry. It's quite hard. It's quite tough, but I like it. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. It really does not. That, that bit's gone hard, the top bit, that's like a, but the sides, like a puff pastry, that, oh, it's all falling apart. Oh. Anyway, we can see in it, anyway, I've got all in one here, look, all in one. <laughs> oh, it's unbelievable, should have got a plate. It's well packed as well, I mean, they're only Diddy, 83p, they're only small Diddy ones, but there's, yeah, there's loads of, I need a spoon now to get that out of there. Right, hang on a minute. So I'm going to drink a water. I'm impressed with the. I'm impressed with the cooking as well. I put it on for 30 minutes in the end, it, it, not 25, but it says between 30 and 35 minutes, um, and and there there to me. Uh, I maybe I should have left it for 25 because they are a little bit hard. The, the, the sort of the top's gone a bit hard, the crust, but yeah, they're, they're still so juicy. They're not dried out at all, and that was on the bake setting. Right, I'm going to try the, um, I'm going to try the, 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 you know, the ones without chilli now. Mm. Mm. Oh, I like it. They're a lot better. They're lovely. Mm. The fatty, the greasy, the moist. The pastry is a bit hard, but that could have been, I might have done it for too long. Maybe 25 minutes, but it's all trial and error. I'm just getting my head around it. And that's what it's all about. But them pies are cracking. I do like them pies, definitely. Farm foods are, well, I've said, I've said me farm foods. Mmm. <laughs> they are good. I am liking them. They're a 9 out of 10. Lovely. Really are good. Right, I'm going to get going now. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Um, I'll catch you on the next one, so take care.